All right, hello. I'm the Grouchy Historian. Welcome back. Now we're going to start our next series of videos here on the AP US government test, the 2020 edition. All right, so before we get into the actual source, uh, the source material and go over the various topics that are presented, let's go through a an overview of the test, very important. So here are the major topics of the exam. Again, this is the 2020 edition. So the five sort of broad categories of topics covered are the foundation of American democracy. This is primarily the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, interaction among branches of government, civil liberties and civil rights, American political ideologies and beliefs, and most important, political participation. So again, as I said during the AP uh, American history and the AP world history, there's a number of excellent study guides out there. I highly recommend you spend the $19.99 to buy one, uh, not only because it, it is a good review, uh, source of review material, but again, because it has the all important practice exams, which we're gonna talk about the exam format here in a minute. I think the uh, US government exam is gonna present some, some unique challenges and uh, material. Uh, so I highly recommend getting a study guide. One of the very challenging parts of this is there are a number of uh, mandatory, we'll just call them uh, primary sources. There are listed in the study guide that I have 15 Supreme Court cases to know. This will be very important when you look at uh, one of the exa uh, exam questions, which is directly related to what they call a SCOTUS case, the Supreme Court of the United States. And there could be any number of multiple choice questions. So these are the 15 cases that are in the 2020 edition, covering a wide variety of constitutional and civil rights topics. And then of course the primary sources, the Declaration of Independence, we will examine the Articles of Confederation and how their inadequacies eventually led to our current constitution. There are a number of Federalist papers that the test uh, directly mentions, which means they are very likely to have questions based upon them, either essay or perhaps uh, multiple choice. There is one anti-Federalist paper, and we'll talk about those in a minute. And of course the letter from a Birmingham jail written by Dr. Martin Luther King. Okay, so this is the basic layout of the exam. This is taken straight out of the um, exam uh, syllabus, as it were, off of the AP site. So this is the format of the current 2020. There are 55 multiple choice questions, which you have 80 minutes to do. And what they call their essay questions, because they are essentially essay questions, they call them free response questions. And there's four questions. And they do list that there are four basic types of questions that they're going to have. There's a concept application to determine how well you understand sort of the terms and concepts that you've gone over in class. There's a quantitative analysis, which will involve a chart graph, uh, maybe a map or something, and ask you a series of questions based on your analysis of the data on the map. Again, as I mentioned, the 15 Supreme Court cases, there's going to be a SCOTUS comparison case and a longer essay. You can see the point structure here and the recommended time, a, an argument essay, which could be any of the above, but is likely to be a more comprehensive question, looking at your ability to integrate uh, material from a number of the uh, topic areas into um, framing a response. So again, the 55 multiple choice questions, these are the four broad, and I, and I put that in all caps because that's sort of what the, the uh, study guide says. The four broad categories are your basic knowledge. There's quantitative and qualitative analysis questions. Again, these are gonna ask you to look at charts, graphs, maps, um, tables of data, you know, anything that is asking you to interpolate and interpret numbers to find some trends um, on various, topics of discussion. And of course, there's likely some comparison questions. Um, again, you don't have a penalty for getting a wrong answer, just like the other AP tests. So again, the challenge here is you have 55 questions in 80 minutes, which is not a lot of time. You have a, you know, a little over a minute per question. So I always recommend if you get stuck on a particular question to move on, don't sit there and waste 10 minutes on one question. Keep moving. Hopefully you'll have some time to come back and dig back into that question. 
Um, or if, times, if time crunch is, uh, is a problem, then you may just have to take your best guess. Like most multiple choice questions, my uh, experience at looking at the sample test is usually through the two of the four answers, you can throw out pretty quick. You're gonna sit there and kind of hmm, 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 hmm over the other two questions. And if push comes to shove and you start running out of time, you may just have to give it your best shot. So again, the free response questions, again, they, this, this is a little more detail here. The trick with these is, you, again, you don't have a lot of time and you don't wanna write a wandering essay. The idea here is, is to read the question, understand what they're trying to ask, gather your knowledge that you've gained from class or using you know, whatever materials is, are provided for that particular question, and then clearly and concisely answer the question. Remember, look at any words in the, in the uh, question that may be bold or underlined in or underlined, hmm, or may particularly jump out to you. Those are probably some key words that you wanna work into your essay. But just like you did for the document bay questions and for the other questions from the history test, the idea that they're looking for here is can you examine material, source material, data, information, collate it, understand it, synthesize it, analyze it, and then gather it and organize it into a coherent essay that answers the question. Hmm. All right, so this is a quick introduction to uh, gov AP government uh, for 2020. We're gonna start going into the other topics here at the moment and um, get right into it. Thanks.